Hi guys, today is a review day. We got a new product and it's sponsored by Kwitz. Kwitz is a company that makes test measurement equipment like digital multimeters and this one is one hit in the market. Let's learn about the product. What is inside of the box is the multimeter itself. It's beautiful guys, it's a kind of a big is kind of heavy too. This is rubber, it's not plastic. Feels very massive. The switch feels like it sounds, believe me guys. We will learn about its features very soon. Test leads. Uh, they are not soft. I will lie to you guys if I tell you that they are hard. They are flexible too. So, in my opinion, very good to work with. Uh, sharp. Supposedly the cup is easy to remove because it has some kind of a little bites on the side so it pops out easy and comes in. It's in 90 degrees banana connector. The standard thermocouple is with a banana connector too batteries and the manual guys i will give you good advice for your life and career and how to take care of your equipment every time we get equipment like that the first thing we do is take the manual and we throw it away if you watch my videos i always refer to the data sheet and the specifications why because there we will find information and pay attention what is the protection in the multimeter? Don't believe YouTubers who take the equipment apart and criticize what they see. No. First thing we have to do is to know until which voltage is the protection of the multimeter. If I make mine lines 120, 240 volts, how long time I'm allowed to do it? Some multimeters has the restriction for that. And something very important in every multimeter in the planet is if you have protection, fuse protection for the amp meter and also pay attention to this how long can you make the measurement with the amp meter and how long do you have to rest the multimeter after the measurement with the amp meter that information is not in my mind because I am a cool engineer that information comes from here how good and how long your piece of test equipment will stay with you will depend if you took some minutes to check the manual and to know your test equipment. Now, let's go with it. There is a test I like to make to multimeters and is to apply rechargeable batteries and to find out if it works with rechargeable batteries. The battery cover is very easy to remove. Nope, it doesn't work with rechargeable batteries. Now it's okay. The first question we have to wonder is from how many degrees can I watch the display? Incredible. From the 180 degrees point of view, I can tell you more than 140, probably 160 if I do not pull more to adjust the length of the camera. What is making this product so successful in the market? Ok, let's analyze step by step. 
starting from off to the higher voltage for protection and has a double display reading showing the hertz in it. Voltage AC plus hertz. But not only that, let's pay attention to this feature. This multimeter is telling me where should I plug the test leads. Millivolts. Hertz and duty cycle. Ohms, continuity and diode test. Capacitance. Temperature test. In degrees Celsius and Fahrenheit. Microampers. Milliampers. And amperes. There is also no contact voltage detector. And it helps me to detect the lifeline in the 220 volts. Let's make some AC voltage measurements. First thing we have to pay attention is we are in DC, so we have to switch it to AC. On the other side, I have a variable transformer. So I'm going to start increasing the voltage to see what happened in this screen. Now pay attention to the screen. After 80 volts, up to 1000 volts DC or 750 AC, this multimeter is showing an orange display, making a warning that I'm making measurements of high voltage or mine lines to be careful with what I'm doing. And that's perfect. I really appreciate these kind of features. By the way, I can also identify the lifeline. This is a 6000 count display. That means after 5999, it will switch to the next scale. Here there are two resistors in parallel and they are 1 kilo ohm each one. So I will get 500 ohms. The resistors are plus minus 1%. It's the same than the currency of the multimeter. This kind of multimeter is not the best in the market with a currency. That's because the amount of digits it has in the screen. If I want better accuracy, I will need a multimeter with more digits on the screen. Anyhow, for what I need, if I'm working in repairs in the workbench, not doing calibrations, in industrial electronics, 
home repairing or hobby is still being a wonderful multimeter in its accuracy. For the continuity test, the multimeter is kind of slow. But there is a feature that goes in favor of that and I like it. I will tell you what. I set from the function generator 10 MHz, 10 volts RMS and a duty cycle of 50% and let's watch what happens in the multimeter. For 10 MHz I got 9 MHz, 999, and the duty cycle is in the 49.9 for a square wave. I want to make a short pause here because I watched a video with a multimeter like this with a kind of failure. The guy was trying to make a measurement and when he turns on the light, the multimeter fails. Let's see what happened. It works. It's okay. Then what was the issue the guy got? I tried to reproduce the issue and I found the following thing. The manual guys, the manual. It says for duty cycle, I should not use voltage above of 10 volts. Otherwise, I might damage the equipment. Got it? You have to pay attention to this symbol every time you watch it in the manual, and you must read carefully and try to memorize what is going on there. Because the guy was applying 110 volts, and yes, we can get any kind of weird things if we apply. 100 extra volts of the permissible one. Let's apply again the 220 volts in AC. Two hundred and seventy. And the light on. And the frequency is 
50 Hz and the voltage where it should be. And yes, it has a light too. With the rubber cover, it can hold the test lead too. Let's remember this is the proper way to make measurements in mine lines. Hold by two seconds and it will go off. What else is different? Okay, I will tell you something. Some of you will not like it, some of you will appreciate it. In my case, I like to have the manual wrench and in this multimeter is out of range and I don't have a button for the manual wrench. Anyway, I appreciate I have one multimeter that will do the job for me, for my lines at high voltage and I don't have to take care of the manual wrench from the auto range system. So even if I am the person who likes the manual range in the auto range multimeter, I really appreciate this doesn't have it because it's important when you get different kind of multimeters to get different features that you can use and approach depending what you are using for and for your safety or to make easy the way that you are performing your job. Something else I like from it, it has hold, so you can hold the measurement and you can hold the maximum and the minimum. And I will tell you, guys, for the low budget of this multimeter, for the ones who are studying electronics, I told you, you need at least two kind of multimeter. Uh, for the one who are studying industrial electronics or has to have to deal with 110, 220 with triacs, uh, with solid state uh, relays, uh, with the optocoupler and the zero cross switch circuit and stuff like that. Guys, for this kind of projects, I truly, truly, believe me, I recommend you to have this multimeter. It should be one extra multimeter we, all of us should have in the laboratory, not only for the workbench repairings, even for, for projects, because this feature makes this multimeter very good for this kind of a uh, test and measurements and projects and sometimes i watch it people asking for help in internet because they need to fix the, the hot air soldering station and stuff like that this is the kind of multimeter you need by safety to work in that kind of jobs and to perform that kind of measurements or to develop that kind of projects in my opinion, I will give a good qualification to this multimeter. Yes, I recommend it. Thanks guys by watching the video. I hope you like it. We will make some more videos with this multimeter and we will use this multimeter exactly when in its maximum approach. So you will realize what I'm talking about in this video in a future video in the practice. See you next time.